How many times have I told you over the years, guys, and it sounds like a broken record, but it's worth repeating again, especially today. The single most important factor that has won me more money and saved me more money when betting football over 25 plus years as a handicapper and as a gambler myself is buying up or down the half point when the number crosses three, four, seven, and sometimes 10. And it paid off in spades again yesterday because I had the Cowboys. I instructed you all to buy down that half point. Cowboys minus two and a half, the winner. Now, for example, Dom Chambers, who's been on a hell of a roll here in football. Huge, 89 winner, in fact, on Navy on uh, against South Carolina as the dog on Saturday coming through. Yesterday, he had another monster play on the Cowboys. He did not instruct you to buy down off the three points. That's not a criticism of Don. That's just a different handicapping philosophy. But again, you use the power of money to manipulate the odds hedge them in your favor it makes you money and it certainly did once again for me last night hi everyone out to marco here and this is going to be your monday video report i'm going to talk about your monday night game between the giants and the rams in a second give you a quick tour of some significant ats stats as well plus money saving discount coupon gun go can not even say that word huh uh giving you a 15 percent discount off your total purchase today that is coming up as well in just a minute well guys part of a 3-0 weekend sweep for me, you know, actually a 4-0 weekend sweep because it started on Friday with a 15-dime winner on the uh, San Francisco Giants, 9-1 at Colorado. Then on Saturday, had a 15-dime winner, Oklahoma State, in that game that did not finish till the wee-wee hours of Sunday morning. What is it with me picking games that have rain and inclement weather and lightning strikes in it? I, I just don't get it. As long as I keep winning them, though. Now 2-0 in college football with those 15-dime releases this season, Oklahoma State uh, last week coming through. And then on Sunday, a 2-0 week not only a 15 dimer on the uh cowboys but also a five dime play on the uh pittsburgh steelers because frankly they owed me one guys now as for tonight um i'll tell you what i think the way to play uh this particular game uh, is a teaser yes that's what i'm going to with tonight i'm going to talk about the total in this contest in just a moment uh overall though you know my bottom line is this uh NFL run 93 and 72 over the past four years. My overall run all sports combined over the past 87 days, nearly nine months, 74 wins, 53 losses, and a push along the way. And I've got a two-team teaser going tonight, my Monday night teaser of the year, because that's the way I feel that you play this game successfully. And speaking of teasers, um, <laughs> I'll tell you a story here in a second. So Shawn Michaels, yesterday, 100-dime teaser winner, excuse me, 100-dime uh, winner, number seven out of eight which also happened to be his teaser winner number 12 out of 16, and his second straight NFL 100-dime teaser winner the past two Sundays to open up the season. Week number one, he had Arizona and uh, San Diego. Yesterday, he goes against the Chargers. He takes New England minus one and Green Bay minus four against Carolina. Sean, like so many people in this business, superstitious. He's here in Vegas. So last week, since we watched a game over at the Wynn Sportsbook, naturally yesterday, we decided to hang out for a while at the Wynn Sportsbook. Sean was not a happy camper when the Packers were down, what was it, 13-0 in the first half? Not a happy camper at all. Got much happier when Green Bay came back. And then, of course, when Cam Newton scores with 37 seconds to play, the ultimate backdoor cover made the teaser look even better because the Packers did not get the cover straight up. Instead, they won in the teaser. So congratulations to Sean. He's got a 25-dime play tonight on St. Louis in New York. He says the line in this game is off by a field goal. Either the Giants win by 10, or the Rams stay comfortably within the number and lose this one only by three or four points. Meanwhile, Dom Chambers, FYI, 198 dimes in football profit over the last nine days. 80-dime play tonight. Second strongest play from Dom. Rams and the Giants as strong as his 80-dime winner on Navy on Saturday. So also uh, good luck to him this evening. A couple other hat handicappers as well. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Craig Davis, who came back to our site two weeks ago to kick off the NFL season. You know, Craig is... Uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the general manager, of, or the president of FantasyFootball.com. This is what he does for a living. Uh, he's made you a lot of money in football over the past two years. In fact, his net profit in that stretch, uh, phenomenal. Um, 404 dimes profit over the last, uh, dating back to the last season. Tonight, 40-dime winner number two in a row. Rams and Giants had a 40-dime winner on the Bucks outright 
over the Vikings yesterday. A 12-5 run with 30 dimers in the NFL, including the Raiders last uh, Monday night. And this play is bigger, and it's just as big as his 49 winner on LSU over Mississippi State on Thursday night. And by the way, the 49 play he had yesterday on Tampa Bay wasn't his big bet. His big bet was Dallas, and he also instructed you to buy down the half point in that contest. Now, listen, guys, I want to get to uh, your previews and some significant trends as well. Um, if I can get the marbles out of my mouth here at a moment. But listen, I want to repeat the 15% off discount that we ran a couple of days ago because not everybody watches the videos on the weekend. So here's the deal. You can save 15% off your total purchase by using this coupon code 15PRIME. 15 prime, P R I M E, 15 prime. That will save you 15% off your total purchase. Now, here's the deal again, guys, for this type of coupon, you want to put everything in your shopping cart at one time. You can't come and buy Craig Davis now and then come later and buy something else. You've got to put everything in your shopping cart at one time, and then 15% off your total purchase will be deducted when you check out. Guys, you can do this and buy individuals' plays. You can buy uh, packages as well. Like, I'll give you an example. And you don't have to buy mine. You can use this for anybody, okay? My package for all my plays in every sport, every selection through the Super Bowl on February 5th of 2000. 2012 is like $1,495. Well, do you realize you'll save like $224 off that purchase price by using the 15% coupon? So you can see how the savings add up. Once again, it is 15 prime, 15 prime. Now let's talk about the uh, game here this evening. Um, hey, New York's looking to rebound from that embarrassing 28-14 loss they had at uh, Washington. Meanwhile, Rams blown out at home 31-13 uh, by Philadelphia. You know, the red flag, red cross flag ought to be flying at MetLife Stadium tonight with so many injuries for both of these teams. Giants banged up in the secondary, plus Jason Tuck, their defensive end, who did not play in week number one, and Hakeem Nix, who was hurt in week number one, both listed as questionable tonight. Both are expected to try, they say, to play. Uh, Steven Jackson, of course, game time decision, it seems like for him after two carries in the opener because of a thigh injury. Now, Cadillac Williams stepped in, had a big game, 19 carries, 91 yards in that contest. Um, I think this is a game that is going to stay under. Listen, you've got a total of 44 points in this contest, okay? I say the way to play this is to go ahead and take the under in the game. The under in the game. Now, have I just given you my teaser winner? Absolutely not, because you got to figure out what I'm doing with the six points I'm playing. But again, I think the under. I just don't see a very high-scoring game here between a Rams defense that had 47 sacks a year ago, and you know they're going to bring the heat against Eli Manning, just like the Redskins did, pressured him throughout that game. And Manning's you know, wide receiver crew has been decimated by deflections and by injuries, okay? And then you've got a St. Louis team that's going to uh, struggle, I think, establishing the run against the Giants' defense, and I don't know how healthy Sam Bradford is. So you have two struggling injury riddle teams. I say go ahead and take the under. The caveat, of course, being, you know, the overs are 9-5-1 and one this week, 12-3-1 and one in week number one. So we will see, but I think the under is the way to go in this particular contest. Hey, but guys, by the way, favorites yesterday, 7-7-1. Seven, seven, and one. There's still three games under 500 for the season. Home teams, two games over 500 yesterday, but still one under the break-even uh, mark against the spread so far this season. Um, Want to talk about a couple of interesting trends spotted from yesterday's game. You know, Tampa Bay is now 10-1 and ATS on the road the past two years. How about the Vikings? They blow a 17-7 to lead at San Diego and then blow a 17-0 lead yesterday at home against the Viking, uh, against Tampa Bay. Ravens, talk about a letdown. Now 4-9 against the spread the last 13 games they played after meeting the Steelers. They're just 5-12 and against the spread as a road favorite the past couple of years. They forced seven turnovers against Pittsburgh. They caught the ball up three times themselves yesterday and cost themselves a game in which the Titans held the ball for 35 minutes and had 432 total yards. Meanwhile, the Steelers are now 10-4 and four against the spread after playing Baltimore. Uh, stifled uh, Saint Seattle yesterday, 24-0 uh, shutout, holding the Seahawks to just 164 total yards. Seahawks now dropped 17 of their last 20 on the road versus the spread and six in a row overall as a double-digit dog. Uh, the Saints, despite yesterday's winning cover against the Bears, just 11-19-1 against the spread on their last 31 games overall. The Bears' Jay Cutler running for his life, sacked frequently the last year and uh, sacked already 11 times in the first two games. Jets, big winner yesterday. <laughs> Sean Green, 16 carries, 49 yards after 25 yards in their opener against Cowboys. Not exactly a productive ground game. Uh, Lions have covered 15 of their last 18 games. Uh, Dallas has gone over in 18 of its last 23. New England has gone over in 16 of its last 19. 
course, they have scored. The Patriots have also scored 30 points or more in uh, 10 straight regular season games. Philadelphia 9-1-1 over in their last 11 road games. Uh, Chargers, three costly turnovers inside the New England 35 yesterday, equaling 17 points for the Patriots. Denver's only covered four of its last 15 at home. Houston, 2-0 this year, but remember last year they started 2-0 and, and then faded 6-10 and finish. Miami, the biggest money burner in the NFL. This covered just 14 of its last 49 games, dating back to uh, 2004 at home. 1-11 and 11 straight up, their last 12 at home as well. Good luck, everybody. Remember, 15 Prime is that discount coupon, and I'll catch you again on Tuesday.